Engineer 775 here on another site. This is a good size residential job. I mean, it's big. 248 panel arrays. We just pounded these babies eight feet in the ground. That's going to help us build the system. It will be, we're going to put, thankfully, we got a little drop here, so it'll keep our arrays kind of tight. We're going to put six more posts down there. And hopefully, we miss the septic line, which we've been told where it is, the one that feeds their leach field down there. Somebody did that. That's not me. Um, <laughs> so we're going to pound six more posts and start building this array. We've got solar panels being delivered by KB Solar tomorrow. And then we're going to hop over to a job that's nine miles away. And we're going to pound five posts in there and do a 42 panel. It's the first time I've ever had two jobs close enough where I could just do a ground mount blitz. So I'm doing it. So, so it'll be 138 panels of ground mount blitz. Maybe that'll be the name of the video. And uh, we got Tony Thrasher on the job, James. All those guys ran away. But we're going to put in a lot of things here. We're going to. This is the mechanical room. There's no lights in there yet, and they've got to finish the floor. But we're going to put in three Solark 15Ks and a whopping 184 kilowatts of lithium storage. Going to put a 20 kW Cummins generator as a backup battery charger. Got to do some micro airs on that beast and soft starting for some HVAC. And then we're going to run this building, which is going to be like a business. We're going to run the house. We're going to run the cottage. And it's going to be off-grid. All completely off-grid. That's the plan here. Right now he is connected. But there he wants to go off grid, so I'm giving him what he wanted. I've gone through all the other all the options and he wants to do it that way. And if he doesn't have enough power, we can add another inverter. But I think he's gonna be good. Alright, let's do the bottom row of posts. Alright, we're gonna try a new move this morning with the T775. We're gonna pick up our purlins. Just because we're on a fairly level setup, and I'm gonna bring the whole stack up to these guys we're gonna go boom we're gonna set our four and then we're gonna come down to this bay and set our four but we're gonna do all the lifting with the machine today we're gonna try this see how it goes so I'm in the skid steer and um, we just did that bay and presented the purlins right to the guys and we're just back down this is 248 panel array so we're just back straight down and build each bay of four purlins at a time um, and we'll just kind of get it to oh there's Tony um, and so we're uh, doing it's doing working really well so Tony's running the skid steer on this job and we're trying this new tactic we didn't have to pick up a single purlin by hand so we set all of them we lifted all of them with the skid steer got them all in place All right, we wouldn't be as successful with our solar systems without putting these micro air soft starters on systems. So we got we got Thrasher's heating and air with us today, and Mr. Willis, the master electrician. Um, this we don't usually deal with package units, not too much, but we're putting a this is a five ton unit getting a blue seventy two micro air easy start capacitor that they have to interface with is over here so it's a little different than your traditional condensing unit outdoors does that fit it's the european threads we'll get it in there okay so but it is pretty much the same huh tony the same thing same thing as four wires four wires no problemo all right we're back on site the weather cleared and we are about to go crazy here we are building a 315k system solar 15k 42 pites batteries we're getting them prepped and ready to go these are the new v5s I've done one other job with these they're very nice so the pites v5s they're going in that's tony over there and we're gonna put in um, we were like trying to find a rack one of the biggest problems with a lot of lithium batteries, though they're good batteries, they don't provide uh, a rack or a decent rack, or they tell you to go to Amazon and buy a server rack, which doesn't always work. 
So this customer has a fabrication shop and he did a beautiful job making these racks. So I wanted to show you, um, again, this is his first attempt at it. So a couple of things that we're trying to figure out is how we would want to wire. And so we actually drilled and put those chases through. So we're going to have 14 in each cell. There will be a hub, communication hub, that will be connected to the master battery over here. We're going to have a vertical wiring trough with our bus bar, so there'll be no cables exposed and everything will be covered. Our power distribution blocks will be in here covered. Everything's going to be nice, but we are doing this off grid. We are, are so it's a little bit of chaos in here, but it's a great place to work. And we've got 96 KB Solar 450 panels. Wes is knocking out the arrays, wiring them up, six strings of eight on each of these 48 panel arrays, landing them in two of our double IMO DC disconnect junction box systems that we just kind of mass produce now. And then we're gonna bring that array over here into this one and then pull all 12 wires plus a ground in through here and get it into our wiring trough. So we're avoiding obstacles, landmines, and James is digging. Oh man, closed shoes are coming off. It's getting serious now. So we're trying to bore underneath this sidewalk to get to our, get these LBs in here. All right, they're, they're doing a little mining operation right now. And we're gonna, pipe down I got to core drill some holes to get through there and we're gonna pipe and get our solar in straightforward just a lot of digging and uh, we got to put this then we're gonna have a generator just a 20k Cummins generator as a backup mr. cool I mean the micro air is added to the five ton unit these are soft start they don't need it and we're gonna pipe this baby in inside we're going to run the conduit along the ceiling okay. and we'll have that. So our bypass this time will be our solar system or the generator. So the generator will be daisy chained to the inverter and that way we can charge batteries, control it of course by the Solarks and which you one, two and three, 15 Ks. And uh, this is kind of the, it's kind of what we're going to build here. 315Ks, bus bar, and this is 36, but we're gonna do 42 batteries. I got six more coming from California. I hope they make it. I hope they make it. But anyway, fun times. Pull that out, Wes. And, but we're done for the day. So, but we did really good. First day is always a fun day. It's just a blast, it's a blitz. And uh, then, We'll get a lot done tomorrow, but we'll feel like we're never going to finish. And then, <laughs> miraculously, we'll finish it up mostly on Thursday, commission it on Friday. That's the plan anyway. Weather looks good. Let's get to it. So he added the microwear to this unit and had to go pull up the wiring diagram from microwear about this ICP. It's International Comfort Products is the yeah. brand. And he found that's really different about this one is they the run terminal that goes to the brown wire on the micro air actually landed on the c terminal of the capacitor and you've got to take that off of there and hook it straight to the brown wire so sometimes you got to go pull the wiring diagrams and talk to micro air how many we got 49 seconds delay 44 it's coming along so this is a five ton package unit outside of this project we're working on we have 315 k's but still, you don't want to have to hit it with 150 amps every time this baby starts. And that's just for the compressors. So that's just fan the running, fan running, air indoor, handler. Outdoor fans are running. And there's a lot of HVAC on this property. We've got some other Mitsubishis. Thankfully, they're going to be soft start. This Mitsubishi soft start. But this beast needed some attention. So we're getting there. We're down to 14 seconds. We're going to count down here. Let me see if I can pick up the number when it hits. It's going to be live current. Probably peak. I don't know. It's going to be peak, but we want to know what we go to. Hopefully That's you can see here. that. There it goes. What's it going to give us? 
Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. So it was 50, it's learning it. It's down to 36.7 amps from 150. You can't beat these things, folks. Thanks again, Mr. Tony Thrasher from Thrasher's Heating and Air. Saves the day. There's the lock rotor in. 152.5, that's not good. When you're talking solar and batteries, it can do it, but why do it when you have a lot of others that you need to start? So um, I'll be showing you all the HVAC later that we're attempting to run off-grid. This is all off-grid. So he's gonna button it back up and one down. Okay, we just had a moment of truth here. We just had a good experience. I had one little glitch on the paralleling, but all 315Ks are on. You'll see these LEDs flashing on all 36 batteries. It says we could do a charge current of 2,550 amps. That's scary. And we're gonna add six more to it. So they haven't arrived yet. The hub is obviously working because the master says so. And we're getting, yes, we're about 300 amps of charge. So let me see if we can make, the max A charge is probably smaller. So we're gonna make a plant. We're gonna put this thing online, get it aggregated so we can see what we're doing. And then we've pretty much done the DC, we, the DC side and the neutrals and grounds are done at this point. Now we're going to start doing the AC wiring. We just want to get these things juiced up because tomorrow it's going to rain. So that's how, kind of how we plan plan the project so that when we... Tomorrow's our last day here. So we're just going for it. We got to just ran a generator feed. We got to pull that wire in and get that out to the Jenny. That's next. So we're making progress. Back to it on our last day here. Hopefully we'll get everything wired. I'm on power distribution block detail right now. This is for our generator. So we're bringing our generator feed in to the block. Our two hots and we will have 240. The neutral, I took to the neutral block here where all my neutrals are combined. And we also bonded our neutral ground bar in that power distribution block as well. This is an off-grid installation. We are, right now, the critical thing on these inverters is to phase them, make sure they're everybody L1 and L2 on gen and load are phased correctly, because you can smoke an inverter if you just go wiring it at all higgity-piggity. Um, so just make sure that you phase it, your L1s and L2s, and then Beauty of the power distribution block, you can feed all your inverters. You can feed your bypass. I'm gonna land Gen on the bottom. I'm gonna land the load, the combined load out of this power distribution block in here. So positioning of these blocks is critical to help kind of the wire management. I know it's a mess, but you know, with three inverters and a lot of things happening between the generator, the inverters, load out, you, and disconnects and bypasses you just can't get around the fact that there is a lot of wire so thankful for a 12 inch wiring trough that's eight foot long plus 18 inches here and then our, keeping the batteries out of the way the battery combiners has been nice all right it's friday afternoon the guys are tired we got to get out of here they did a great job once again um the only thing left a few things gas for the generator We've tested a two-wire start, so the Cummins will support this system that is completely off-grid. Disconnect out here, microwares, we threw the kitchen sink at it. These batteries are doing awesome. It's a beautiful thing. Six more going on it next week. They just didn't arrive today, which was kind of a bummer, but it won't be a big deal to add those six up there, and that'll really, really look awesome. 315Ks, all paralleled nicely, running the running the place, this one's the master, and we're still charging the batteries. It's late in the afternoon, and we're staying ahead of his load, and putting about six kW into the battery. So hopefully they'll have a wonderful off-grid weekend. If you need help with a system, I'd be glad to design one for you. Um, if you want one like this, be happy to design that for you too. But we do, obviously, five, eights, 12s, 15s, 30s, 60Ks, stacked, Paralleled, 
you name it, Solark is just knocking it out of the park. We really enjoy Solark's products. They make us look good. They, uh, it's just really amazing how much, how much technology they have put into these inverters, the advancements they've made in such a short time. And I think they've taken over the market. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So anyway, I'm just admiring the work. This is uh, our probably the most high end job we've done. My son and I were joking, we make uh, Porsches and Toyota systems, but that's for another video. All right, let me know if you have any questions, but look forward to uh, answering any questions you might have or helping you out if you need help. We have a consultation service, of course. You can sign up, and uh, we'll be glad to cut out, carve out the time that you need to get your system done right. All right, this is Engineer 775, signing out.